guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really want to do like a grey, smoky eye, maybe a bit of grungy, or maybe a pop of shimmer, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to use the Carnival palette again. Um, it's, I used it not too long ago, but I kind of want to play with these cool tones here um, for today's look. So if that sounds like something interesting, then please keep on watching. So I've been at work today, hence why my base is all on. So we're going to kick into the eyes. I'm going to take the uh, about to say e.l.f. eye primer, it's the Lily Lola eye primer that I always use. I have prep and prime my eyes and I'm using a Real Techniques uh, concealer brush. So as I said, I'm going into the Carnival Pro palette and I'm going to kick off with the shade Fade, which kind of is more of a, a brownie tone, but it's very much a cool toned taupe. So I'm going to start with that first. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, this is a Pure's fluffy brush, uh, the name has rubbed off. So I'm going to go with Fade, and I'm going to pop this into the crease to begin with. I'm just going to slowly build this up just to get a bit of a transition shade. I'm thinking I might go for the pop of shimmer because I've done quite a few matte looks recently. Obviously my autumn aesthetic look that was very much a pop of shimmer. Everything else has been quite matte. Not that I haven't liked it, I have enjoyed the matte look. But I quite fancy a pop of shimmer I think. So this might be a little bit less grungy than I had originally planned. I'm going to leave it there, so it's just add a little bit of definition to the crease, nothing too heavy. I'm now going to go into Vex, this one here. I'm going to take a blank canvas brush, again unfortunately the name's rubbed off, but it's kind of a slightly tapered uh, blending brush. And I'm going to start buffing this onto the outer portion of my lid. Something I should have done was tap off the brush before I went and did that, but I will tidy it up in a minute. I've kind of got everything set, so it should just wipe off. So, out a portion, then I'm bringing it across to the center. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. That seemed to have come off quite nicely, so that's good. I'm just going to take the fluffy brush I use for fade and just make sure those two are nice and blended together. Yeah, it's definitely a lot less grungy and more like just a nice classic smoky eye. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, take Vex, start with the outer portion, build up and then we'll bring it through the crease and into the centre. We will remember to tap off our brush this time. Okay, so we've got something like this. Now, my lights aren't quite right because it's making a shadow on this side, but it shouldn't be. But there. So, what so far? So, this eye isn't dark on this eye, I can assure you. It's just something's not quite right with the lighting, but that's fine. Um, I don't, I think I might keep it all to my lids and the upper lid just to keep it a bit softer as we're going with a slightly cooler 
toned, deeper, smoky eye. I forget how much I actually really like coral tones because they do just give a nice elegant look to the eyes and I find actually they complement like the face a bit more. Although obviously warm tones for me because I've got blue eyes really makes them pop but I do enjoy the cool tones as well. Okay, I'm going to stick with a black canvas brush. I'm going to take a small amount of lights up the black. Nothing too crazy because I don't want to overpower the look. I like the grey we've got going on. But really just focus this purely on the outer portion only. So something like that. So it more creates a dark grey as opposed to a black. I will use the other brush just to help blend the two together. So it's still seamless. I think I mentioned in my vlog, the really minuscule <laughs> September, October vlog, that I'm thinking of doing the every day in December with like shorts and also the two main videos like I did in July because I really enjoyed that. And people seem to really enjoy it too. And I'm purposely not going to make it all festive. Just because like I know not everyone enjoys the Christmas period or celebrates it for whatever reason. Um, so I'll try to do a nice balance of videos. But I've already got some kind of ideas planned. Um, so there is going to be like a little bit of an Easter egg hidden amongst those videos. With something that's going to be happening next year. Um, which I thought was quite fun. I kind of came up with the idea. And I'm going to see if anyone will... Uh, guess but yeah you know, I mean you won't know until next year but I just thought it might be a bit of fun so stay tuned for that um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Inspire next I'm actually just gonna take this on my finger and I'm just gonna pop this in the inner in the third that's a really gorgeous colour But if you've got any ideas for that, uh, with uh, videos and shorts you'd like to see, obviously do let me know, That's, I'm happy to kind of do a real mix of videos. Okay, I like how that looks. Do you know what I'm going to take? Some of Pillow Talk next. I'm actually going to take it on my little finger. Oh, I can actually because it's running out. And I'm just going to actually pop this in the inner corner because I think that shimmer might be a bit much for the inner corner but I just want something to kind of add a little bit of a brightening effect so this is what we have yeah I'm liking that okay I'm gonna um that's probably it for the eyes I'm gonna load up my mascara next and I'm going to take my Ilia Limitless Mascara for this one. Okay, this is how the eyes are looking, like a real nice, just cool toned, smoky eye. Now for lips, I don't know if this is going to go with it, so um, it may get changed up, but I want to obviously give the other lip product a try from the Natural Smooth Calendar. So this is the Inica Lip Crown in Tan Nude, like I said, I'm not sure it's going to be quite the right shade, but I might be able to mix it up a bit um, and kind of play with it. But I just wanted to test it out and see what I thought of the actual product itself. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I think probably the tone's a bit not quite right for this 
eye. But in terms of ignore that colour combination, that's a really nice colour. A really nice shade, really easy to use. And uh, it's, I like lip pencils like this because you can just put it on the side to do the middle. And actually it's quite creamy, so it goes, you can kind of really blend it into the lips. And it feels nice and comfortable. Now that's a really nice shade. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. I've been really enjoying lip crowns, like with the Aero Perez and then this one. Yeah, they're just so much easier. It's like a lipstick and lip liner in one. I like that. Like I said, I'm not, it doesn't look completely off, but I think it could do with changing slightly for this look. I think the way to do it is to have lip gloss in a kind of cooler pink tone. It's a whisper from Lily Lolo. I think I'll just cool it down slightly and help it match, but I really like that lip colour actually. It's nice. Okay, I didn't quite tone it in the way I wanted to, but actually I don't mind the combination. It's quite fun. I probably would go for more of like, say, Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and then pop this gloss on top for a bit more pinky look. But like I said, I really want to play with this lip crown. And actually it's not a, like a terrible combination, um, but it's really nice and that, it's nice and glossy. So I'm going to go with this lip combination. I think it does work, I'm just going to go for a bit more pinky one really. Um, so yeah. So that is this video complete, so like I said I opted for more of a grey tone, grey cool tone smoky eye as opposed to the kind of grungy feel. Um, just because I knew I wanted to play with a bit of shimmer in the end. Um, so it kind of soothed it quite nicely and yeah finally got to try the Inico lip crown which I really like and I really love this shade as well so that's the video complete possibly quite a quick one uh, I've got quite a few videos lined up and planned um, but yeah if you've got any future requests please let me know or any thoughts on what to do for the December um, everyday video session <laughs> again let me know um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed leave any comments or questions down below Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.